Nice to have you. So we're going to do a group coding, and uh, it's just like an exercise, and the exercise that we're doing is to use all three of these loops. And so uh, let's start with the init condition post is the first one. So what's what do I want to type here? Somebody shout out what I should type. Yeah, so Sure, okay, so and I create a variable. Do I need to do a, a var or just can I do shorthand? And and then so that's an it. What's the condition gonna be? Patrick, what's the condition gonna be? The uh, condition is gonna be i is equal to one. so i is equal to one, it's not gonna loop very far. <laughs> and uh and then what's uh, the post going to be? Somebody? What do you want to do? Made it. You made it. Just print out. Print the line. You made it. Oh, okay. You want to Sorry. And print the line. You made it. I don't think anything will happen with it. You said I to zero. Okay, so let's but run then the out. condition is i equals one. Since i equals zero, nothing will happen. When it adds up, when it increments, it's going to go. I equal one used as value. Ah, there's the condition. So now let's run it. Nothing. Nothing printed. That surprises me. We start out at i is equal to zero. And then we It's a false condition. So while what's that saying? What's happening there? It's obviously not reaching the inside of the loop, right? There's well it's also printed. not reaching the increment. So we have an initializer. Oh, as soon as it says it's equal. Oh. As soon as it says that and it's getting registers false, it doesn't oh, go any so further. So what, it doesn't even add one to it. What is this like right there? What's that? That's like a Boolean true or false, right? A, yeah. So right. while true, we're in the loop, and while false, we're out. Right. So would this work? Yes. How many people say this is just going to loop forever? Forever. <laughs> we got to 85,000. That's pretty good. <laughs> right? So does uh, I equals 1 ever come true? No. No. Right? It's just immediately false, and so it doesn't go into the loop. So I is equal to less than or equal to 1. If I is less than or equal to 1, is that ever going to be true? When I is 0, will that be true? Is 0 less than or equal to 1? You loop zero one time. Loops in Go are so much better than C++. Cool. The Glad way you. that they like, implemented it. Yeah. They're just insanely more productive. Yeah. So they're, they're printed zero and one time. So zero and then it's one less than or equal to one. Yeah. And I could have just said one I less than one, right? And then they'll how many times they'll print? Just once. Equal equal is just equality. So there's no there's no equal there's no triple equal like in JavaScript. It's just double equal. So in the first one, you're setting, you're initially declaring it and initializing it to zero, and then you're testing for if it is equal to one. Yeah, yeah, the first time through, and and that's always going to evaluate to false. It'll never even go in. Yeah, zero is not zero equals one. No. And the same thing would happen if you did i is greater than zero. As your condition, it wouldn't. Nothing would happen. Nothing would happen. Yeah, yeah Patrick. That's the shorthand notation for uh, take this variable and assign it to a value. Okay. So it's uh, it's initialization. The long, the long is uh, for var i 
int equals zero. So the declaration is, but it doesn't like that, right? Maybe maybe not within a loop, but I could do uh, var i int, and then i is equal to zero. And there we go. It's not liking that. I is unexpected. I is equal to zero. Var i int. So let's look that up. Let's look it up in the language specification. So go spec. And uh, we can look up declaration. Variables. Variable is a storage location for holding a value. The set of permissible values is determined by the variable's type. The variable declaration, or for function parameters and results, the signature of a function declaration or function literal reserves storage for a named variable. New, structured, static, var. I just like to look at the examples. Variable declaration. Variable declarations. Var. So here's the variable declaration, and then a var spec. And a var spec is an identifier list. So identifier list, and then a type and an expression list. So what Optional. Did like? So, so let's, what's that? What did your, your code like? What? I'm not sure. So var i. Let's just try. Uh, <coughs> Format print line i like that. So there's something right here that's not right. I've got a little error. Let's uh, let's run it and see what it says. Go run me. Non non declaration statement outside function body. Non declaration statement outside function body. It likes that. I can't do it on two lines. I can't declare and then assign. And assign. I have to do it all on one. You can just leave out the assign altogether. Yeah, I could leave out the assign. See if that works. Sure. Bar i zero. All right, but if I want it to be seven, bar i seven. I guess would it do this? Yeah. Yeah, that works. So it's only outside of a function that it doesn't like you to declare it and then assign. It the declare is okay. The assignment is okay. I thought there's another way in here to do. Uh, the longer way, but you know not. All right, so that's uh, the first uh, loop. The next loop, I'm going to change this to i plus one, so it'll print more logically, printed one time. And then the next loop would be like a, a while, just four condition. So let's do x colon equals 7 and for x less than 100, that's it. So x is always less than 7, or always less than 100. I'm not incrementing it. So let's put a i++. Plus plus. x plus equal 10. And then let's do the last one, which is 4, like that. 
and uh, format print line y and y colon equals 20 and y plus equals 100 and if y is greater than 1000 break Uh, so using the three different types of loops. The last one I had been written before. The one we had. Yeah, the just the four. Useful. So you have to view the break, or you just did that to break it out. Yeah, to break out. Four. Well, the the while and the do while, right? The while would be like this, so if, you know, the little documentation, like a C4, whatever that is, just forever. But this is like a, a, a while. While X is less than this, do it. And this might be like a do while, because it's always going to run that first line, and then while this is, and then it could break there, right? But just using, you know, not needing to change the words. <coughs> 